Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Charlotte here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. First of all, I have something to tell you all. <laughs> I um, I actually extended my house a little and built a tiny pond here. Um, I was recording it, but I um, accidentally deleted the footage. So um, here are some, let's get in here and show you. Petunia is kind of this stripy fish. Poe is this tiny little goldfish mm. right there, so adorable. And Tango is a manta ray slash stingray. I can't say these words. Is there another one? Yeah, and Randy is this is this jellyfish. So um, these are my current pets. My only current pets, as all the other ones died. <laughs> and that's what we're going to be doing today: is actually making a graveyard. <laughs> for all my dead pets. Now I say it out loud, it sounds very morbid, but I'd still like to do it to honor their memory. So where should we have the graveyard? Butterfly, fly away. Um, what do you think? Show me your butt. Is that what you're doing? Show me your butt again. Well, that's a nice view. <laughs> now it's work for me. That's not twerking really, is it? That's just killing things. You know what? I'm not even 100% sure what twerking is. That could be twerking. Is that twerking? I think we should build the graveyard over here. Right there. But first of all, we need to clear a lot of space and then construct a bridge to easily cross to the graveyard. Uh-oh. Well, oh, there's a lot of... I'm drowning. Nope, I'm getting stung. So I need to, like, flatten this out. Okay, so I flattened this out. I did use creative mode because it was just a load of dirt um, and I'm gonna build my graveyard here. I'm almost certain that there isn't enough space and there are going to be more dead animals to fill it soon but let's let's get started. So oh you know what we need? We need soul sand from the nether you know because that's where their souls are kept. So we're gonna have to make a short trip to the nether. What's going on here? What's going on? Is there a, is there a party here? You having a party, Mabel? Is that, is that what you're doing in my house? Hmm, I thought so. Let's take a spade with me. I don't think I need to take much because the nether, psh, it's not even scary. So um, I actually made some adjustments to my kitchen. I thought I was gonna put a lot of appliances in here, like an oven and stuff like that, and a fridge and a tumble dryer and a washing machine, but um, the washing machine and the tumble dryer are not even in the 1.5 version, which is the version that I'm running right now. And the oven and the fridge take a lot of iron blocks to make, so I'm really not at that point yet. Excuse me, I'm just gonna take this egg, thank you. So we'll have to wait for that. But the kitchen is already expanded, waiting, ready to be filled. Why do all these ants have eggs? To the shadow cave, which looks awesome. We have to pimp this out. We have to call up Exhibit and get him to pimp my cave. Let's go. Take me, take me away. That's right. Okay, ghasts, I do not see. Soul sand, I also do not see found cobble that's good oh my god there's a little ghost stone dust here i must not have picked it up from last time how has that happened how did it not disappear just a walk of it uh, it's really dark up here how do you guys see there's some down there <gasps> i see some mm. can i make the jump guess there's only one way to find out <gasps> oh there's a lot of lava that i could have fallen in there well lucky me I have no idea how to get back up now. Just damn it. Alright, let's get out of here. <gasps> oh my god, what is that hairdo? <laughs> he's on fire. Oh shoot, no he's not. Uh oh. <gasps> no, I'm on fire. I'm so stupid. Maybe I can make it. I think I can make it. I don't think I can make it. Damn it. So we're going to make the headstones out of some fancy stone. Um, stone bricks, I think. So how do you make stone bricks? Like that? Yeah! Um, let's make... Yeah, 32 should be enough, I think. And we don't have any signs. Let's make the signs. Shoot! I made trapdoors! 
Oh, I am bad. Dragon fruit sapling. Oh, that is sounds beautiful. I can't wait to do something with that. <laughs> Come here, you. There you go. Okay, so I think we're gonna do it like this. So this is the headstone right here. And then we'll have, this is um, where the body is, if there is a body. And that will say their name. So first of all, Noah. Noah was lost, never to be seen again. Okay, next one. Pig, please, respect. So next we have Sage, and Sage was eaten by an evil fox. An evil fuzz. Who was the next victim of Lizzie's bad pet ownership? Of course, it was Neo. Oops. The one. Still missing. Man, there are so many. <laughs> I'm the worst pet owner ever. And the next one we have Dr. Slither. Not technically dead. We don't know that he's dead, so we'll just call him Adventuring. And he will be next to his wife, Nurse Bitejoy, also adventuring. Pig, please have a little respect if you don't mind. Guys, stop making out on the tombstones. Please, please. This is a graveyard. Oh, of course, how could I forget another of my dead pets? I don't even know what happened to this one, but Rebecca was a rabbit. I forgot. <laughs> so I also have fish, can't forget about those, very important to the ecosystem. So um, Dory and clones, not quite sure what happened there, slight glitch in the matrix, so we'll just express them as lost in the matrix, because I'm sure they're still alive somewhere in the matrix. Move out of the way please, thank you, I know you want to honour their memory too. So next we have Diablo, he was a stingray, I think, although he never stung me because he was just lovely. And that was Death by Tiger, unfortunately. Very shortly after Diablo's death was the death of Sting. I don't actually know what happened to Sting, but he's not in my pond anymore and since he can't walk on land, I'm going to go ahead and assume that he's dead unknown causes. Man, this graveyard is looking way too full. I should not be allowed to own pets. Right, let's go see if I have any flowers to lay by their grave sides, because they would like that, I'm sure. Let's put a rose between Dr. Slither and Nurse Bite Joy, because they were lovers, after all. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, move it. <laughs> Stop! He's rolling around on the grave. There you go. Okay, so let's um, let's light this up. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna break out something special for these guys. We're gonna break out the glowstone. That's what we're doing. Oh my God, stingrays! And I'm in the water. Wow! Wow! Get out of the water. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's nice. And then we just have to do a few more. I need a pick. I don't have a pick. Ugh, it's so far away. All this effort for a stone pick. Come on, Minecraft. Okay. Why did I need a pick again? Oh yeah. So there we go. Let's see what this looks like at night. Oh, that's pretty. Besides all the floating blocks around. Ghost blocks in my graveyard. If I missed out any of my beloved pets, please do remind me. So thank you for watching this episode of Shadowcraft, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and also remind me if I forgot any of my beloved pets, I need to put them in the graveyard and I'll see you in the next episode of Shadowcraft. jellyfish glow in the dark that is so cute so this tango is a little bit dead how do i feed him how do you heal a fish if anyone knows please let me know